Not everyone that got inside one of these things was able to get out of it. As a matter of fact, most people that were inside these things never lived to tell the tale. I started collecting torture devices after taking a trip with my father and mother to the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in St. Augustine, Florida. And when we left the place, I remember saying to my dad, Dad, I want to grow up to be just like Robert Ripley. My mother said, oh my God. This is from the 1600s, and this is a two-person pillory. And this would have been used for women that were arguing in a village. One woman's neck would go through this hole, her hands would go through these holes. The quarreling woman that she was supposed to was in this side, her neck, her hands went in these holes. So what you have is you have two enemies forced to face each other, and actually they were locked to each other. Then and only then are we going to unlock them. My dream is I really want to have a museum of these things. I want a museum that traces the history of criminal punishment from the ancient times to modern times. Because although our mechanisms have changed for punishing criminals, we're still doing some of the old dirty things we used to do back in the dark ages. It shows different sides of humanity. And uh, I want that kind of museum. I think people could learn a lot from it.